Feeling tired, restless, and a bit irritable? Are you noticing changes like extra weight around the waist and thighs, sagging skin, and stretch marks? If this sounds familiar and you're over 40, you're not alone. We can't escape the effects of gravity after hitting the age of 40, but that doesn't mean we're powerless to do anything about it. The key factor is how well you take care of yourself. As you age, your body undergoes changes, and the way it needs care evolves too, and Dermiotir will agree with it. Wait, Dermiotir isn't on your radar? He's a certified fitness expert, endorsed by credentials from both NASM and FAS, and has a growing community of almost 6 million YouTube followers. He specializes in understanding how our bodies change as we age, and how to care for ourselves best during that process. He is a kinesiology graduate as well. Jeremy is passionate about helping people make significant improvements and creating lasting results with science-based content. Now that's someone we all need, don't we? So get ready to get your beautiful body back in shape with Jeremy's fitness advice. He's speaking from experience, ladies. What's life like at 40 and how is it different? Graceful aging is not as easy as it sounds, especially for women. It requires hard work. As you age, your metabolism starts getting slower. At 40, most women will have a significantly lower metabolism rate, and this rate will continue decreasing by 5% every 10 years from that point onward. If you have crossed the 40-year landmark, your body's energy production is way less efficient than before. Even if your daily activities remain constant, you're burning fewer calories from your food. And what happens to calories that don't burn? They turn into fat. And that's precisely why you have that extra pooch on your belly. But there's another culprit that's contributing to that excess weight around the midsection, estrogen. When you hit 40, your ovaries start producing less of this hormone. As you age, this reduction in estrogen can lead to changes in your body's metabolism and fat distribution, often resulting in weight gain, especially in the abdominal area. This hormonal shift, combined with other factors like lifestyle changes and genetics, can significantly shape your body's composition. Women in their late 40s also have to go through perimenopause and the start of menopause. Perimenopause is when your body starts adjusting before hitting menopause. These changes include hormones going up and down and irregular periods. One issue is gaining extra weight, especially around the tummy. The hormones are utilized for keeping a good metabolism, regulating menstrual cycles, and distributing body fat change during this time. This can make gaining weight easier and losing it challenging. Also, these changes make you want to eat more sugary and fatty foods, which can lead to weight gain. Feeling tired and not wanting to move a lot can add to the problem too. But is there a way out of this? Are all women destined to feel tired and gain weight as they age? Well, there's good news and bad news. The good news is that you don't have to go through all these struggles. The somewhat bad news is that it takes some effort. But don't worry, there's hope. Jeremy has guided many women to understand their bodies and make positive changes. His methods are straightforward, honest, and they really work. So what's the solution? Let's explore it with Jeremy. The solution. Stubborn belly fat that seems to be glued to your body and doesn't go away. If this is your biggest concern these days, worry no more. Jeremy has shared a secret but simple weapon that often goes under the radar while trying to lose weight. And trust me, it's simple, effective, and something you can start doing right away. You don't have to be a pro. According to him, the key lies in the calorie deficit. You might already be hitting the gym or doing some hardcore cardio to get rid of that belly fat. High intensity workouts, running, cycling, they all seem like the ultimate fat burning solutions, right? And yeah, they do work, but there's a catch. A lot of women struggle to stick to these routines in the long run. They're tough, they drain your energy, and let's face it, they're not always fun. But fear not, because there's a game changer that doesn't get the attention it deserves. Walking. Yep, you heard that right. Walking. You might be thinking, wait, walking? That won't burn much. Well, hang on a second. A 2021 study analyzed a bunch of other studies, and guess what? Intense cardio doesn't necessarily outshine walking when it comes to fat loss. 
According to Jeremy, it's not about the intensity as much as it is about the consistency. Your body doesn't really care if you burn those calories with an insane HIIT session or a simple stroll through the park. Calories burned are calories burned. Your body doesn't care whether the calories you burned were from some crazy intense fasting cardio session or from plain old walking. What matters most is what you can do consistently over time. And the beauty of walking is that it's low stress, doesn't tire you out, and you can do it pretty much anywhere. It's the kind of cardio you can stick to without feeling like you're climbing a mountain every time. But how does this all add up? Well, let's do some math. And no, you don't have to be a genius to understand these calculations. If you're consistently walking, and we're talking a few thousand extra steps daily, you can rack up a considerable calorie burn. And over time, that burn transforms into fat loss. But let's be honest here. Walking isn't some magical potion that works wonders without the right diet. You can't outwalk a bad diet. It's a tag team effort. Your eating habits also play a massive role in your weight loss. If you walk 4,000 steps a day but empty two buckets of ice cream while watching Netflix, that's not going to help you, ladies. If you want a solid game plan to melt off that stubborn fat and gain some lean muscle, make sure to stick to a balanced and healthy diet and a regular walking schedule. Did you know that according to research, walking a mile can burn roughly 100 calories? Of course, this might vary depending on other factors like weight and gender. Another study measured the amount of calories burned during a brisk walk versus running. The study revealed that those who ran burned only 23 extra calories than walking. You might be thinking, running must burn way more. Well, yes, you're right. Running can burn more calories if you increase your intensity and run uphill or on a slope. But if you're just starting out, you'll be exhausted pretty quickly. And here's the fact. Most people find it easier to stick to walking consistently as opposed to running like a gazelle on steroids. Now, while this does sound great on paper, the truth is the overwhelming majority of people can't actually stick with traditional cardio long enough for fat loss to reach stubborn areas. In fact, even in studies where subjects are assigned to cardio sessions to do, dropout rates tend to be on average almost 20%. The thing is, it's not just about that one run or that one walk. It's about what you can keep up with over time. And that's where walking starts to shine. It's sustainable, it's not a crazy energy drain, and it's something you can weave into your daily routine without feeling like you're pushing yourself to the brink. Some tips I personally use are to always choose a far parking spot, take the longest way to the washroom, do 10 minutes of incline walking after each workout, take 10 minute walks after each meal, take the stairs instead of the elevator whenever possible, listen to podcasts while walking, and more. Jeremy Atir has made it all easy for you, debunking the myth that intensity is the only path to fat loss. With metabolism shifts and hormonal changes as you age, a regular walking schedule combined with a balanced diet will work wonders for your body. So grab your water bottle and start walking. It's your secret weapon to conquer those fitness goals. That's all for today's video. To all the incredible women out there who are determined to stay healthy and fit even after crossing that 40 milestone, don't miss out on our valuable tips and advice. Hit that subscribe button now to join a community that understands your journey and is here to support you every step of the way.